On the 18th of September 2008, one U.S. dollar was worth about 7.781 Hong Kong dollars. A. How much would 450 U.S. dollars be worth in Hong Kong dollars? And B. While traveling in Hong Kong, Mitchell saw a DVD player that cost 795 Hong Kong dollars. How much would it cost in U.S. dollars? We'll solve part A and part B each using the five-step problem-solving process. And the first step in that process is to familiarize ourselves with the situation. We will let C represent the value of 450 U.S. dollars in Hong Kong dollars. And that's in part A, the first question we were asked to solve in Hong Kong dollars. Now in step two, translate, we'll be translating to a proportion and solving this using proportions. Now the key to proportions is when you translate is to get the same unit in the numerator on both sides and the same unit in the denominator. So let's just, we're going to be comparing U.S. dollars to Hong Kong dollars. So let's just write that on both sides. We have U.S. dollars, Hong Kong dollars, And then we're going to have a proportion and make sure on the other side, the other ratio, we also have U.S. dollars on the num in the numerator and Hong Kong dollars in the denominator. If you can keep that straight, the rest of it's more straightforward. Well, we're given that the ratio of U.S. dollars to Hong Kong dollars is 1 U.S. dollar to 7.781 Hong Kong dollars. So we should have the same ratio for 450 U.S. dollars to C Hong Kong dollars. And we've translated to a proportion, and now we solve this proportion. We can solve by equating cross products. We have 1 times C equals 7.781 times 450. One times C is C. 7.781 times 450 is 3,501.45. So we have a possible solution and we move to step four, which is to check our answer. To check, we could actually rewrite the proportion. We have one over 7.781. Does that equal 450 over 3,501.45. Well, let's equate, let's check the cross products. 1 times 3,501.45 is 3,501.45. And 7.781 times 450 is also 3,501.45. The cross products are the same, so the answer checks, and we state the answer to part A, that 450 U.S. dollars would be worth 3,501.45 Hong Kong dollars. Now we move to part B, which was the question about the DVD player. And we'll start the five-step problem-solving process again. Here we'll let D equal the price of the DVD player And this time we're looking for it in U.S. dollars. And we move to step two, which is to translate. Again, we will translate to a proportion. And we'll be, trans we'll be writing the U.S. dollars in the numerator and Hong Kong dollars in the denominator for both ratios. And I'm going to write that to remind me to get the U.S. in the numerator in both ratios and Hong Kong in the denominator. Again, we know the ratio 1 U.S. dollar to 7.781 Hong Kong dollars. That's the exchange rate. And that equals the ratio of the U.S. dollars for the DVD player, which was D, over the Hong Kong dollars for the DVD player, which was 795. So we have a proportion that we can solve in step three of the problem solving process. Again, we equate cross products. We have 1 
times 795, that's this product, equals 7.781 times D. And to solve this, we will divide both sides by 7.781. So we have 1 times 795 over 7.781 equals 7.781 times D over 7.781. And on this side, we would have D. And on this side, we'd actually have to approximate our answer. Rounding to the nearest hundredth, we have 102.8. One seven. Now to check our answer, we'll use a slightly different approach. Since one dollar is worth 7.781 Hong Kong dollars, let's take our U.S. dollars 102.17, multiply that by the 7.781, and we multiply that does equal approximately 795 dollars in this would be the Hong Kong dollar price. So the answer does check. And we can state our answer that the DVD player would cost $102.17 in U.S. dollars.